Okay, hello, how are you? Good afternoon. Uh, the first thing I would like to start doing today is I would like to tell me what you did during the weekend. Okay. Can you please tell me what you did during the weekend? Weekend? Yeah. Um, I, I work with my garden. I work it with my garden. Cut the green. No, it's just uh, cutting. Cutting the green. And put the beautiful uh, the tree. And this is a, a Saturday. Saturday in the morning. And after that, uh, Saturday evening, uh, I went to the cinema with my with my daughter and my wife. And Sunday, very quiet at home, see the television because you know, it's, uh, uh, it had too bad weather, no? No. no. Sunday? Uh, Sunday, no. No? There was very... I don't remember. Sunny, but with wind. Ah, uh, see, a lot of wind. A lot of, a wind. Wind. A lot of wind. Okay. All right. Javier and Maria, what did you do during the weekend? I went to Lagoon, a mountain in, in the, between France, uh, near France, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very good, beautiful place. I went in a train okay. to climb the mountain and I then I go down, went down, uh, walking. Mm -hmm. And you can see uh, every mountains of Pyrenees and the sea. Okay. You park the car in, in, in Sara, no? In Sa in Sa uh, Sara? No, in Sara, but between, uh, okay. near Sara, in yeah. another. It's a very small village. Okay, yeah. In the mountains, and it's very yes. only two houses and the train. Yes. Place. Yes, very, very beautiful. The view, the sightseeing is very beautiful. Okay, very good. Now what we are going to do is we're going to play a memory game, okay? Oh. We're going to play a memory game. And I'm going to explain to you what this game consists of. One person has to say something. About, uh, Maria says something that she did yesterday, okay? And then you, Javier, would have to say, you have to remember what she said, and then say something that you did. Then, Maria, you would have to say what he did, uh, what you did, what he did, and what you did again. I'll give you an, an example, okay? Yes. I will give you an example. Imagine, I say, uh, yesterday I went to the park. Imagine. So then Maria would say, yesterday Ivan went to the park, and I uh, read a book, for example. Then Javier would have to say, yesterday Ivan went to the park, Maria read a book, and I, well, as, as much as we can remember, okay? <laughs> ah, we can, no, no, no that's, that's, that would be a, a cheating, that would be cheating. <laughs> Only the mind, exactly. <laughs> so, yes, see, yesterday I ate pizza. Well, uh, yesterday Ivan ate pizza. And I went to the Arga to work mm -hmm. in the Arga. Okay. Yesterday, Ivan uh, ate uh, pizza mm -hmm. and Maria uh, went to work around the Arga River. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday, I went to the Sadar to see Osasuna match. Huh? Okay, now it gets more difficult for me. So yesterday I went. To, uh, yesterday I ate pizza. Maria went uh, to work at the Arga River. Uh, Javier went to see the football match at the Sadar, and I and I listened to music. Okay. All yours, Maria. Yesterday Ivan ate pizza and listened music. Uh, I went to the to walk to near Arga River. Um, I went to the supermarket to make the, the to buy okay. everything for the week. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I 
non cambia. <ride> eh... <ride> eh... You, yeah, to the... All... You went to Sasuna to watch uh, Sasuna, ma only... only... <ride> Insomma, in Sadar Stadium, nothing more. Yes. No? <laughs> okay. I, okay. Um, yesterday, uh, Ivan uh, ate pizza. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't remember. Went to. to ah, ah, sorry. <laughs> Listening to uh, music. Uh, Maria uh, went to, to work uh, around the, the, the Arga River. And I don't remember. Ah, I, I went to, to the market, and and I, I went to the Sala Stadium to see Osasuna, and after that uh, I I drink uh, a beer with my friends. Okay, very good. You have good memory. <laughs> okay, very good memory. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like you had a very exciting weekend, right? Yes. yes? yes. Okay. Yes. Very yes, good. Yes. We're going to focus now on a verb tense. Which verb tense are we going? We're going to focus on the present perfect continuous. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on the present perfect continuous. Okay? Now, the present perfect continuous can have different um, different structures different structures depending on the form okay can have different structures depending on the form so for example if we say uh, let's take for example what would be the affirmative the affirmative uh, form the affirmative form of this uh, of this verb tense what would it be let's see what would, in a sentence, okay, using the present perfect continuous, which would be the first element in the in the structure of this verb tense? First, yeah, first we'll start with the subject, right? What would come then? What would come after the subject? Verb to be in the form. Exactly. So. We will have the verb to be, but in a so, so we're going to have we're going to use a different tense. So in this case, I have to say have uh, what will come after have to not yet, no. not yet. So no, no, no. Ah. The past 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 have past been, past have past been, past plus, past plus the verb in ing. Mm -hmm. Right, plus the verb in ing. Then we would have what would be the negative form. The negative form. How would we form this sentence you, in the negative form? It's the same, but the verb have is in negative, no? Exactly so, exactly. So we say we would use the subject plus have not or haven't in a contract, and what would be the contracted form? Have not or haven't. Been exactly plus, plus verb mass. exactly plus, plus the verb in ing exactly and finally we have what would be the question so how would we how would we write the 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 present perfect continuous structure using the question form first. Exactly. Ex very good. First, have, and then, subject. and the subject. 
Very good. Ben. That verb. Exactly. Plus the verb. N I N G. Very good. So, okay, we have these three different forms, right? Let's take first using the affirmative form. Can you think of a sentence, any sentence, using the affirmative form of the present perfect continuous? working all the day. Yeah. For example, I have been working. Let's see. I have been working, okay? To make it more simple. Okay. For example, um, how would we convert this into the negative? I have not been. I have not been. I have have not been working and finally the question have I, be, have I been working exactly have I been working have I been working Very good. So now what we are going to do, real quickly, is we're going to uh, we're going to conjugate these sentences. So I have been working. You know, like to conjugate I, you, he, and so on. Ah, okay. So I have been working. You have been working. Exactly. So you have been working. Very good. You see, has. Exactly. He or she has. Careful here been working. Mm -hmm. What would come then? We. We? Exactly. We have been working and? You and they. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what seems we, so yeah. Yeah, we'll go with the they. Okay. They have been working. Okay. And with a, I have not been working? You have not been working. Exactly. So you have not been working. Exactly. Hasn't he or been working. she hasn't been working. And uh, we have we haven't been working. Exactly. We haven't been working. And okay, they they haven't Exactly. They haven't been working. And finally, um, we, we, we wrote the question. Uh, let's conjugate the question. So we would have: Have I been working? Have you been working? Exactly. Have you been working? He or she? No, no, sorry. Has he or she? Very good. Been Very good. Has he or? She been working now. Have we exactly been working? Exactly. Have we been working? And finally, have they been working? Exactly. Very good. Have they been working? Okay. So now. Okay. So now. What we are going to do is. Um. Javier, when do you think, when do you think we, when do you think we use the present perfect continuous? So let's write 
usages. Okay, when, in which situations do you think that we use the present perfect continuous? Well, I think that uh, when you when you uh, when you are describing an action mm -hmm. that uh, uh, that now is in that, no? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So basically, it was in the past, but now is 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 in that this action. Exactly. So basically, what we need to communicate an incomplete. Ongoing activity. Okay, so here, Maria, we are analyzing the usages of the present perfect continuous. In which situations we we can use them? Okay, we have to communicate an incomplete ongoing activity, mm -hmm. or have another situation. Almost. So, a recently finished, finished. activity. Okay. Finished. Exactly. So, we'll have a recently... Yeah, very recent. Exactly. A recently finished and, important, an interrupted activity and also very important, that has present results. It has results in this exact moment. Okay. With present results, okay? Present results. Exactly. It's important to remember it's important to remember that there are some verbs that do not take the ing form. For example, do you think it's correct to say, I am loving my sister? Mm. Is that correct? Mm. No. Do you think it's correct to say, I am liking my sandwich? No. Mm. So there are some verbs that are never going to take the ing form. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to provide you with a list of verbs that do not take the ing form, okay? okay? Just so that you can remember that sometimes when we are using certain verbs, we cannot use the ing, the continuous form, with those verbs, okay? Now what we are going to do is we're going to do an activity in which we are going to build present perfect continuous sentences. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you an example, okay? So imagine we have... So imagine we have, for example, she, in brackets, the verb study, English for five years, okay? We will have to complete the sentence converting this verb in brackets into the present perfect continuous, okay? So how could we do this? Which would be the way in which we can complete this, this sentence? She has been studying. Exactly. She has then studying. She has been studying English for five years. This is the first exercise that we have done as an example of what I would like you to do now, okay? So, 
let's say for example um, four minutes okay to try to complete this using the present uh, building present perfect continuous okay uh, sentences and then we can correct them all right Yes, if you, yes, only present perfect continuous, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so for example, we say we have um, she studied English for five years. How would we build this sentence, Maria? She has been studying English for five years. Very good. Uh, Javier, please. Peter has been coming here on holiday every year since 1989. Very good. Maria, please. She has been teaching our group for, for two years. Exactly. Very good. Javier, please. How, uh, how long have you been waiting here? Very good. Very good. How long have you been waiting here? Number five, please, Maria. Has he been studying a lot for his exams? Very good. Has he been studying a lot for his exams? Number six, Javier, please. It has been uh, raining for over two hours. Very good. It has been raining for over two hours. Maria, please. I have been writing the report for five days. Very good. I have been writing this report for five days. Javier, please. Mr. Brown has been working in this office for two years. Very good. Mr. Brown has been working in this office for two years. Maria, please. My dog, my dog hasn't been eating properly. I must take him to the vet. Very good. My dog has not been eating properly. Or my dog hasn't been eating properly. Very good. Javier, please. Uh, Jane has been lying in the sun for for too long. Very good. Jane has been lying in the sun for too long. Exactly. Maria, please. I have been trying to stop smoking since 1985. Very good. I have been trying to stop smoking since 1985. And the last one, Javier, please. Okay. She has not been sleeping well during the last couple of weeks. Very good. She has not been sleeping well during the last couple of weeks. Okay, now we're going to make it a little more complicated. Um, it's important to distinguish Present perfect continuous from present perfect simple. Okay. Yeah. Remember, uh, do you remember what would the, uh, the structure be of the present perfect simple? Do you remember? So present perfect simple. So we will have if so we'll have the subject right. Subject plus the verb to have. Exactly. Plus have plus 
Exactly, plus the past participle. Very good. And so there's the affirmative. And then the negative. Subject. Subject. Plus have not. Plus have not. Plus past participle. Plus past participle. Very good. And finally, the question. To have. Exactly. Have for the subject. Plus past participle. Very good. So, why is it important to distinguish uh, to distinguish present perfect present perfect continuous from present perfect simple? Basically. We, there's a question, a question that we need to ask each other. So we have an ongoing action, a continuous action on the one hand, and we also have a result on the other hand, okay? Two different ideas, mm -hmm. ongoing action or result. In the present perfect continuous, what do you think the emphasis is? In the ongoing action or in the final result? Exactly, in the ongoing action, in the continuous action. However, in the present perfect simple, where is the emphasis? Mm -hmm. In the result. Okay. You see it, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Imagine, for example, if I say, um, uh, can you think of a, a sentence in the present perfect simple? A sentence. Mm -hmm. I have won the lottery. Okay. Now, okay. Now, this is a <laughs> okay. So now this is a situation in which you could not use the continuous form, not the ing. You cannot say I have been winning the lottery. So win is a verb that you cannot use with ing. I have been winning the lottery. You you either win it or not win it, but you cannot be winning it. You see. So for example, if I say I have read a book, I have read a book, or I have been reading a book. If I say I have been reading the book, the emphasis is in the continuous action. However, if I, if I say I have read the book, the ongoing action is not relevant. What's relevant is the final result. Um, so the activity that we are going to do now, it's similar to the one we have just done, but there's a difference. Now, you are going to, you're, so you're going to fill, uh, fill in the gaps with the verbs in brackets, but now you're going to have to choose between Present perfect simple, present perfect continuous. So, for example, if I say, um, for example, um, if I say, so we have how long space Jerry and it's a question and we have to use um, we have to use the verb no now oh, and the subject I almost forgot the subject would be you okay you so we have subject you and verb no so how would, uh, would we have to use a present perfect simple or present perfect continuous verb tense in this case? Exactly. Exactly. You cannot be you cannot be knowing somebody, right? Okay. okay. So we'll have to say, uh, how long have you known Jerry? Right. Okay, so say, how long have you known Jerry? Yeah. All right, so this would be the first exercise and the photocopy I'm going to give you now, okay? So we're going to have uh, one for you over here and another one for Javier over here.
right. Very good. So let's see. Hey, Maria, can you do the first one, please? How long have you known Jerry? Very good. How long have you known Jerry? Javier, please. You look dirty. Uh, what have you been doing all the time? Very good. What have you been What have you been doing all the time? Maria, please. How many times has Charles visit New York? How many? Can you repeat, please? How many times has Charles visit New York? Okay, so let's see. Let's analyze your sentence. Oh. You have said it? Yes, because if I put how long, the verb is a, as an affirmative sentence or no? So you have said you're using present perfect simple, yes. right? Yes. So uh, if you say how many times, you have said how many times has Charles visit, right? Yes. So there's something wrong about visit. Visited. Visited, exactly. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, no, no, no problem. No, I, I <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, very good. Very good. Okay, Javier, the next one, please. Um, she has been learning, learning French words for hours, but she still doesn't remember all of them. Very good. She has been uh, learning French words for hours, but she still doesn't remember all of them. Maria, please. Um, the children have been watching videos for two hours. So, the children has been watching videos for two hours. I'm not sure. So, it's present perfect continuous, that's correct. Yes, but... I have... I... It depends, because... If he... Now, they don't see the... The video, mm -hmm, no? Mm -hmm. It's with present perfect simple, or not? No, but it, it says for two hours. hours, so that's indicating a continuous okay. activity. Okay. Now, be careful because you have said the children has been watching. Oh. What exactly oh. have exactly? So they I have. Has? I don't know. Because I write uh -huh. have. Oh, you've written. You've written have. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right. Oh, so maybe it's that I didn't hear. I didn't hear correctly. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, Maria. Very good. Uh, Javier, please. Um, sorry. Has he been studying hard today? Has he been studying hard today? Very good. Mm -hmm. Maria, please. My father has never smoked. My father has never. Javier, can you help her? My father has uh, has never smoked. It's smoked. It's a it's a regular ah. verb. Okay. Okay. So we it's a regular verb ended in ed. Okay. So smoked, smoked. Okay. So the past participle of smoke is smoked. Okay. Okay. Very good. <laughs> okay. Uh, Javier, please. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Uh, have you been waiting for long? Sorry, I'm late. Have you been waiting for long? Very good. And uh, Maria, uh, Maria, please. We haven't seen Lisa recently. Very good. We haven't seen uh, Lisa recently. And the last one, Javier, please. And, uh, he has been uh, writing on his side all day, but mm -hmm. uh, he has not Yet. Very good. The first one in present perfect uh, continuous, and the next one in present perfect simple. He has been writing on his essay all day, but he has not finished yet. Okay? What are we going to do now? We're going to do a little game in which each of you is going to have a little piece, a little piece of paper, okay? You're going to have a little piece of paper. I'm going to explain to you, okay? Let's see. Over here. All right. Okay, so you're going to have a piece of paper, and in this piece of paper, you are going to have two sentences. One of the sentences is something you have been, uh, it's a sentence in the present perfect continuous, and the other sentence is a result. Okay, you take the paper, and you are only going to say the result, not the present perfect continuous sentence. And when you say the result, the other person has to try to guess what uh, the present perfect continuous tense is. I'm going to give you an example. Imagine, imagine I take a piece of paper that says, um, for example, 
I have been doing exercise, present perfect continuous tense, and I am sweaty. You know what sweaty is? Sweaty. Like when you when you are do a lot of exercise and you start, you know. So that's sweaty. Okay. So uh, I would only say I am sweaty. I would not say I have been doing I have been doing exercise. So you would have to ask me. Okay. Um, which question would you ask me if I say I am sweaty? Which question would you ask me? What question? Which question? Uh -huh. For example, have you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> have you been doing a lot of or no say, exercise or? Have you no? Have, have you, you been, been working hard? hard? Have you been working hard, for example? And then the other have person you been going to the to a gym or exactly. And then the other person says, "Yes, I have," or "No, I haven't." But the person who asks the question has to ask the right question. He has to try to guess. Okay. Or for example, if I take another piece of paper that says, um, "Yeah." Um, let's see. Uh, I am very happy. What could I? <laughs> you know, that's a difficult one. You can. Uh, yeah. You could ask, for example, what could you ask? Have you been? Um, what could we ask? Have you been? Oh, huh? Have you been? Uh, no. Uh, with the lottery, lottery. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you been? Winning the lottery. Winning the lottery. No, but you couldn't say no. winning. No, it's winning is um, play. play. Have you been but playing? Playing uh, the lottery, but isn't playing it. There is another word, no? To play with money. For uh, example, uh, are you very happy? Have you been uh, speaking with the... Uh, Famous For example, <laughs> have you been speaking with a famous actor? <laughs> okay, very good. So you understand? Okay. Yes. So now I'm going to give first Javier your piece of paper over here. And remember, you read the result, and Maria has to try to guess what it is that you have been, uh, you have been doing. Okay. I have been launching a lot. There are tears in my in my eye. Okay, so now... Sorry? I have been loading. But now you have told okay, her that... Okay. <laughs> I have been loading a lot. Yes. There are tears in my eyes. Okay, so in this case, you would only have to say there are tears in my eyes. You can't say I have been laughing a lot. Because now Maria knows what you have been doing. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> only this. Only this. Only the result. Oh, okay. sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I have more papers. <laughs> okay? Oh, so, okay, okay. you understand? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, so, Javier had a piece of paper yes, that says... This. Yeah, yeah, you see? We have to say only this, this, this equality. Ah, okay, okay, yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. okay, so here we have the, the, the present perfect continuous sentence, and yeah. here we have the result. Yeah. So you only say the result, okay, okay. the second one, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go, Javier. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> only this one, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I, I know. Uh -huh. I have a handover. Handover? Hangover. We're learning vocabulary as well. Yes. We're learning vocabulary. You know what hangover is? No. Uh, hangover. We are young. It's very, it's very common on Sundays. <laughs> what? When, when we, we were young yeah. and go out, when we were young, I have, uh, I usually, and we, uh, all, all, the, all the young people, uh, have usually have hangover in the uh, Sunday and the, in the morning. So imagine, it's a juevincho, imagine, it's a, a very, you know, you, you're out until 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock uh, in the morning, you know, and with your friends, and, and the next day you are like, oh my god, <laughs> that's a hangover. You know what a hangover ah, is? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> 
But after that, uh, uh, I went with my friends to, to drink a beer, another drink, another beer, another beer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Have you been doing a lot of exercise or going to a gym or... Yes, I don't know. Or, a ver, eh, have you been listening, watching? Not had eight, eh? Not had eight. No! Not had eight. Hanover is, when you drink, when you yes. drink, you have a Hanover. Yes. Yes. Okay. Not one match and the beer. Watching football. Well, it depends. You drink pachara, for example. Yes. <laughs> pachara. <laughs> and the uh, people. No, no. Uh, what has Javier been doing? What has he been doing? Uh, I'm going to drink a uh, speedy friend. <laughs> Javier, have, have you... Have you been going to a party or...? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm too old now. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. So Javier has been partying. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. There you go. And again, all night. Okay. <laughs> all night. All night. All night. No, now, now it's impossible. Now this one's for you. Time. This one's for you now, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> I am wet. You are wet. I am wet. Wet. No? Wet. Wet. That was you eating, no? Wet. Exactly. Yes. Um, have you been uh, swimming in the river, uh, on the right view? No, I haven't. No? <laughs> it's very difficult. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, I have to. I have to uh, <laughs> no, this is something have personal. You, <laughs> have you been working uh, and. Uh, and it, it start uh, it started to, to rain? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. It's not exactly what it says, but it more or less, yes. Yes. Is, uh, is the same. yes. So tell us, Maria, what have I you been? I have been standing in the rain. She has oh. been standing in the rain. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Javier, okay. what's the what's the problem? What what's the situation? <laughs> I have lost weight. Lost weight. Wait, I have lost weight. Weight? I don't understand. Wait, weight. let's see how can we explain to Maria what weight is. Uh, weight is um, when you, for example, you take, um, uh, you want to, you, for example, yeah, you take a mobile phone. Uh, Javier, how much does uh, the mobile phone weight? And you say, well, it weights uh, five, much. not too much, five uh, kilos or something. Okay. Uh -huh. I have lost weight. Have you been doing a lot of exercise? Very good. Very good. Okay. <laughs> okay, Maria. Okay. All right. I think okay. in the food, eh? <laughs> yes. Okay, Maria, please. My back hurts. My back hurts. Uh, my back hurts. You know what? When your back hurts, you know what that means. Ah, okay. My back. Uh, my ah, back. My heart. Hurts. 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 When something hurts, it's like oh. Or when your arm hurts, it's like oh. Ah, okay. Or when your ear hurts, it's like hurts. Oh. Oh, hurts. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, uh, have you been um, yeah. to hurt when something? Yeah. The verb to hurt. Okay. Have you been uh, taking up? 
picking up. Picking up. Mm -hmm. Have you been picking up uh, 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 many boxes? No, I haven't. No. No. <laughs> Very difficult. Have you been playing uh, playing with your with your daughter? No. Do you have a daughter, Maria? No. Oh, she doesn't have a daughter. Yes, of course, of course. I don't remember. Four or five, I don't remember. Have you been uh, working a lot in the factory? Yes, but... <laughs> <laughs> yes. but it's not in the paper. <laughs> if you want, you can mime the action. To mime the action, like to to let him know what what you have been doing. To mi sorry? mime, like when you to mime is like to that. Mime. Yes. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> No? Yes, exactly. Like exactly. I'm, yes. I'm sitting all day. It's like that. Exactly. No? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yes. Let's wait a little bit for Javier to see yeah. if he comes okay. back, okay? Okay, so Maria, you can it's, you can tell Javier what you have been doing. Eh, es la eh, no. I don't know. I expect. Yeah. <laughs> I. It's like now. Yes. But every day. Yes. I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, had you been uh, seated all the day, uh, every day, or have you been seated? Yes, seated? I have been sitting down all day. Very ah, good. Okay, okay. Very good. It's okay. difficult. Okay. No, no, mm -hmm. it's difficult. It's difficult. Very good. But very okay. Strange. And finally, <laughs> <laughs> very good. And finally, in the the last activity, we are going to do to Maria. Can I ask you to sit? a little more to the right so that I can take the camera a little more to the, over yeah. here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Um, the last activity, it's uh, another game and this game is called What Have You Been Doing Today? What have you been doing <laughs> so, it, and in this game, one person, one of you, has to mime an action, you know, to mime. Okay. Like, if you have been listening to music, you would go, no, no, that would be listening to music. Okay, if you have been riding your bicycle, or if you have been reading, okay, you would go like this. That's to mime, okay? okay. So imagine, if I say, um, if I say like this, which question could you ask me? Ivan? Have you been reading? Today. Exactly. Have been you have you been reading today? So you can ask a question or you can make an affirmative statement. Ivan has, Ivan has, been, has, reading. has been reading today, okay? So you can either ask the question or make the affirmative statement, okay? okay. So uh Javier, please can you start? Okay. To mind, no? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so Javier is going like this, okay? Javier has been studying. No? Yes. Studying today. I have been studying. Okay. Uh, so Javier has been studying today. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good, Maria. Now Maria's turn to mime an action. Mm. Uh. Okay. Uh, have 
you been cleaning uh, all day? Yeah. Okay, very good. So Javier says, have you been cleaning all the day? Yes. Uh, and Maria says, has been cleaning. Exactly. Yeah, and no, way to say would be Maria has been cleaning all day. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, whose turn is it now? Uh, Javier, please. Can you mime another action? <laughs> Have you been farming or um, picking my pump today? Yes, I have. I okay. have been all day uh, speaking by phone. Okay, very good. Okay, so nice, good. You've mimed it very, you mimed the action very well, like this. And Maria has guessed. He has been speaking on the phone. Very good. Uh, now I'm going to mime an action, and you have to try to guess. Okay. Have you been <laughs> seeing a bird today? Hmm, interesting, <laughs> but no. <laughs> <laughs> what have I been I doing today? Been for <laughs> have I have I been? <laughs> no, no, I have not. <laughs> Superman. Almost, but no. <laughs> Have you been watching a, a TV or a Yes, film? I've been watching. Ah. Exactly. I have been watching the latest news. Ah, okay, the latest. Ah. The latest news. <laughs> And what's what's happening in exactly what's happening in yeah. Panama? What's yeah. happening in Panama is so Panama shocking. Yeah. yeah. So I was, I've been watching the TV like this because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. And another action. Let's see. Um, what have I been doing today? Music. Yes, music exactly. Music yes, I have. Exactly. Yes, there are many types of music, but yeah, that's the, exactly the music I have been listening to. I have been listening to, to rock music. Okay, so let me see. Okay, perfect. So that will be all. So um, <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye. So this has been, uh, I am Ivan. This has been lesson one. And these have been my students. Okay, so I'm just going to have a second.